So for our, our folks watching on the video server, this is the Ordinance Committee of April 14, 2014. I'm City Councilor David Murphy, joined by Councilor Maureen Carney and Ryan O'Donnell. And uh, we're here and accounted for. And we're doing audio and video recording ourselves tonight. So if anyone wants to watch it for posterity, they can. So the first item is the approval of the minutes of March 10, 2014. I'll move to approve those. Second. Second. Right. Any discussion or corrections? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. The next thing is the appointment of two members of the Council on Aging, Margaret LaSalle of 11 Chestnut Street in Florence, and Lorraine Wyman of 300 Acre Brook, or three, yeah, 300 Acre Brook Drive in Florence. Um, Neither of these are two of the uh, one that was... Um, these are not reappointments. <coughs> these are new. Remember there was one person who was a new appointment, then we... And, decided to forego and yeah, give the process. That already happened. Okay, so, so these are the other two. Um, did you get my email at all about contacting them if you wish to? I did receive your email, yes. I did not contact either of these. Um, it was just the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we want to do with them? Do we want to bring them in? Do you want to approve them? Uh, I, I would um, suggest that uh, either the chair or Yeah, we'll still, still it'll be another month. Yeah. Um, any volunteers? Do you want me to call them? Um, I'm happy to volunteer. Huh? One? Well, I'm not happy about it. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll share the responsibility. Or you Who do you want to share? call? Um, whatever, whatever doesn't matter to me. I'll take it first. You're going to call Margaret? You're going to call Lorraine? I will. Oh, um, okay. Although, um, okay, I'll find her information. Actually, we have the we usually have the whole application. In fact, we do. Yeah, we do. So her her material is on there. Very good. So we will then postpone that until our next meeting after you have a chance to chat with them. Um, item number seven is to amend claims, and this was something that. If you remember from council, this was Councilor Freeman <coughs> Daniels amending claims arising from changing fees at the parking garage. Yes. That council sent back to transportation and parking, and uh, at their meeting in March, they sent it back with a negative <laughs> recommendation, and they don't want any ownership of it. Um, so, uh, Ryan, great. so they said they actually. Recommended not, not be approved, or was yes. it like no recommendation? It was a Correct. It was a uh, uh, unanimous negative recommendation. Okay. Um, so, what's your pleasure? We'll send this back to council with. I will. Um, I'll send. The, uh, I'll refer to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, since you want to talk a little bit about the uh, discussion. Oh, yeah, I'm happy to do that. It, um, I think we just saw it at this point as kind of a, um, a move issue um, and we kind of agree that there was a claims process in place already in the city and so creating a new one seemed cumbersome and would create problems and if we just decided not to advance it. So that was the reason. Um, so I suggest we either concur or, or refer it back with no recommendation and the council could consider a negative recommendation to the Department of Transportation Commission. Okay. Good purpose. No preference. No preference. Okay, well I move we refer it with no recommendation. Second. Right. Any more discussion on that one? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, the next one is 312-36 parking meter locations and regulations for shared car service. And this got sent to us in March and it was referred to Edlu. And did it, I'm not on Edlu, did Edlu uh, react to it yet? Yes, it was ah. in front of you. Is there, are there revisions based on uh, recommendations <laughs> by Edlu? So you'll see some strike through language on the bottom. It's not red line, it's just. Mm -hmm. um, so they um, endorsed it with a unanimous vote um, 
on just this, well, last week, I was thinking it was this week, right, of course, it's Monday now. <laughs> um, so, and the recommendation was to strike the language um, that specifies that the mayor has authorization to um, locate parking spaces in the garage with associated signage in particular, as opposed to just sort of leaving it open-ended. So it could be in the garage, it could be on surface parking. Um, and just sort of simplify the language. And that's how they voted it forward. And that's the recommended language on the bar? Yes. Mm -hmm. Question. Um, and I'm, I, I serve on, on this committee. And just to add, you know, the discussion, there are two points of concern. One is um, whether it's appropriate for the city to uh, give free parking spaces to a, a large company, um, when perhaps the company doesn't need that incentive. And two, uh, there's concern about the parking garage being full anyway. Uh, and so that's why, as, as you say, um, we said we might as well make it anywhere in the city. And we changed authorized free to lease so that we can debate at a later time whether or not the parking spaces are actually free. So, yeah. so the lease could be a lease for zero dollars, yeah, or yeah. At, over time, if it becomes successful, the lease could include. Um, a mechanism for mm -hmm. a exactly. dollar amount, a different mm -hmm. dollar amount. That's okay, then I think the process is we can actually amend it here. Yeah, we should, we so should forward it with the recommended amendments. Okay. So that it gets officially. I, 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 I move that we forward the, these amendments that have been made by uh, That are recommended by any Correct. All right, Second. Second. Okay, any more discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 We're can I add one thing that's related to that, just so you all know, um, as part of the council package, if this goes for your, to Thursday meeting, which I think Mary typically does, it should, on for yeah, today's, today, today's Tuesday or Monday? No, Monday. Monday. Okay, so, so she could put it in. Yeah. So um, what's also going to go in the packet with that is a resolution, um, which I think is attached on the second page of that. Um, which just is the authorization essentially for um, the mayor to sign leases. So it's a set, it has to necessarily be a separate resolution. So this is allowing for mm -hmm. spaces to go for car, um, share car parking. And this is just the allowance sure. for a lease. And that would be just dealt with by the full council. Yeah, exactly. So I just wanted to let you know that was coming. Mm -hmm. That's it. You're done already? I don't think I need We've got parking on State Street. We've got parking on State Street, which we talked about already. All right. So the next thing is the little thing that wouldn't die, <laughs> Middle Street. Remember, you were chairing transportation and parking when it started. Now he's chairing transportation and parking, and it still lives on. Um, it's your fault. So it what, ha what all came out of so because it, it well, comes back. Here's here's what happened. It, they they finally, after a great deal of trying, marked the streets. Last yes, fall. yes, that's what we we're waiting for. And it was temporary. They they, they 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 called them temporary. I don't know why they did that because when you mark the street, it stays marked. Um, so the streets were marked, and they did their test period, and the test period expired. So Alex, who's a new tra traffic engineer. Yes brought it back to Team P. Um, that's how it got there. And so I went back to see why I was coming back, and they said, well, the test is over. we we got to do one thing or another. We've got lines, we've got posts for signs. What are we going to do? Um, and the discussion that came from, and, and you were chairing, the, the discussion that came up was that we're basically, the neighbors want control of, some control of the parking, the two-hour parking, and the medical building people do not. They want to just leave it up to the free for all. So what we came up with at uh, TNP was that, uh, and I don't know how, how familiar you are with the street, yeah. but on on the south side of the street where um, where the parking is, there is from the last driveway to the corner of Chestnut Street a couple parking spaces. So the compromise was that those spaces from that last driveway to the corner, which is not in front of anybody's house. So the house is on okay. Chestnut. So it's on the side of their house. Their so driveway is there. That would be unlimited. But from the first driveway down in front of everybody's houses, that would be two hours. 
So the medical building will pick up two or three spaces that are unrestricted, but that in front of people's homes, it would be six in the morning till eight many? in the morning till six at night, uh, two hour park. Approximately how many spaces? I don't know the number of spaces. Is it dozens? Um, Is it less than two dozen? No, it's probably a dozen. Um, now that it's been shortened up. But so 12 it, to 15 spaces. Yeah, because it's done in feet. And what Alex did was amend the distances to reflect not regulating from the corner of Chestnut to the first driveway, but simply from the, from the first driveway down to where it was stopping anyway. So where it ends, uh, the furthest from Chestnut Street, is the same, but where it begins will omit from the corner of Chestnut down to that first driveway. Just out of curiosity, so let's say, because um, it's typically staff that will park in those uh, unrestricted spots. It's, it's essentially the same cars every day, five days a week. So let's say somebody <laughs> was parked in that spot, mm -hmm. and then um, at coffee break time, they come out, they and a colleague come out and change places. Can they do that? Um, Theoretically, they can do that. Okay. Okay. In and in the regulated space. And then they do it again. And another two hours. Yeah, theoretically. Right. Um, the problem that we run into is that the parking enforcement people weren't paying attention to exactly where they were. So they would they would take a license number, and if you were anywhere on the street, they would give you a How ticket. How is the ordinance written? Though? Is it, is it, it anywhere it, on the street or in that particular? No, it's it's spot? two in that space. Two hour in that right, space. So, so. so you can move. The problem was that the parking people were not paying particular attention to which space you were occupying. So there were several physicians who were there for their two hours, went to the hospital for a few hours, came back and parked in a different space and, and got a ticket anyway because the parking people didn't actually pay attention were they, to were they, were they, Did they get that? Were they... I don't know what the conclusion was of that because parking enforcement was clearly incorrect in doing it. Right. But well, it does present Whatever. a dilemma. Yeah. Uh, um. So they need to pay, actually pay attention. But it's no different from around the corner of Main Street where it's one hour parking and they do this the same I'm thing. I'm curious about the discussion at TQC. Oh. So how did that go? Because this is actually, you would think it might be easy, but this is very long and this has been, discussion with the This has been alive for two terms of council, so this is over four years old. Were, the, were both sides represented in the public? No, because because it just came up because Alex put it in, and my, you know my suggestion is going to be if we accept it as amended and send it back to council again, I need to go and remind all the players of what the stage is now and let them come if they want to and comment it again at council because they this has been um, was put off for the test of the lines. And now it's coming back after amended, saying, "Fine, you can have the spaces at one end of the street, but we still want to regulate the others." So my suggestion is going to be move it out of here today. But I'm going to ask that it not actually go back to council until I have a chance to let everybody know what its current okay, condition. I just want to remember yeah. that the arguments for residents often were that people were parked too close to their driveways. Their cars would overhead would would be within that spot from there, and that was the difficulty. So I'm wondering whether the lines being the lines, corrected that? The lines right have worked complaint. to correct that because now there's clearly spaces and you've got to be in the spaces. So now what is, so it's not the being close to no, the No, that's kind of been straightened out. But the uh, their other problem, and, and one of the things that got this all going was somebody had a, a death in the family and they had people to their house after the funeral and they couldn't park anywhere near their house because the whole street is parked up by medical staff all day long. And they said, we don't want neighborhood-only parking. We just simply want the cars to have to move once in a while so that if we can't fit everybody in our driveway, we can park here. So it took care of the crowding of the sidewalk and the parking too close to the corners. But their feeling is still, you know, from 8 in the morning to 6 at night, five days a week, we don't ever have a chance of parking in front of our house. And they think they will because people will not we'll have park to. there. Mm -hmm. They think people won't use the spots if it's only for two hours? Well, what they would prefer, because what happens now is the medical practices send their staff over there to park so the patients can park in the parking lot. 
And, and that was the complaint of the medical folks is that we're, by doing this, we're pushing the patients out to the street. Right, but the patients but, don't stay all day. They come and go. Right, and the complaint of the medical staff was that, however, the patients are the ones who need a, a, a closer place in the facility in order to yeah. not have to turn, yeah. you know, right. already and, people are... Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so the other streets around there, the other commercial streets around there, all have limited parking. This is a residential street, but it's the closest place. Now, the physicians do rent spaces at the church. They have as many spaces over there as they can get their hands on. They won't rent them anymore. And they got their own spaces in the parking lot. And the, the neighbors don't mind that people park there. They just don't want them there all day and never moving so that they get a shot. And so to refresh my memory, the, the test that was conducted had these two-hour spaces, yep. the length of the street. Yep. And so did that increase turnover? Oh, yeah. Was that, did that, was that it, received well by the residents and the hospital? Well, no, the, the medical practice doesn't want any restriction because then they can't wear out scars. Or so. But they complained about it during the test? They, they did very much complain about it when they couldn't leave their cars there all day. Right. And my fear is that um, I think because this next went to a transportation parking commission and any of our subcommittees are pretty, uh, unless there's a lot of outreach, they're pretty uh, lightly attended. I'm not sure if the person who just walked in is here no. on this particular issue. No. Okay. no. <laughs> I don't know if he even wants the ordinance committee. Uh, I was looking for the zoning uh, and said it The zoning. Are you talking about the, uh, the uh, properties of seven or more units and all yes. that thing? So that, that whole meeting was postponed because of the Passover holiday. Yeah, it was going to oh, be a public oh. hearing as part of this meeting, but they didn't end up doing it because of the holiday starting. I had that email on there. Yeah. 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 So sorry. But you can stay and talk about parking with us. Sure. <laughs> it's very exciting. I'm so, all for uh, standing spaces. For what? Standing spaces. 15 minute or whatever oh, okay. short, what you put short term. Okay. So this one, so I, again, what I'm thinking is that um, because there was no public comment at all at the TPC when this came. Well, the the yeah, just I myself. Think, okay. And I only saw it on the agenda and said, gee, it's back, and came to see what was going on. Well, that's because we sent it back, right. but it came to us. Yeah, and, we, and right. it went back. Um, so this version of it is sort of a compromise to say, all right, we'll give you some spaces that you can park at all day, but in front of people's homes where they sometimes want to have a parking space, you got to turn over. Uh, the only, my only concern is because this is actually, you would think it might be an easy issue, it's a very hotly contested mm -hmm. issue mm -hmm. on two sides. And um, that ultimately, it'll be the council, will, which is why I'm, I, I would actually vote to send it without a recommendation, and then at the council level, we'll, for the probably fourth time, hear both sides delineate their many, many reasons to either have mm -hmm. unlimited, unrestricted parking for that stretch of road or mm -hmm. to our own. But just for, for, to, you know, for, for the record, the request was that we first to do the trial period, and we did that, and there was some relief. But then there was a suggestion because the, the complaints were, I can't get out of my driveway. That was most of the people, the number of people who came out said, I can't get out of my, you know, that would be a safety mm -hmm. issue. That would be a legitimate issue to be concerned. And so we said, let's, let's paint lines in order to help. And it took help. a long time. Right, and that's what took about nine months. Mm -hmm. So lines finally were painted, and people can get out of the driveways. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, but it's a diff but then we find that it probably wasn't about getting out of, or in addition to not getting out of the driveway, it's when there's a death in the family. And any are, reason you might want to have company during the daytime, they can't park anywhere near your house. Right, <laughs> and, I, and I think what we heard then, I mean, we'll hear it all again, but that's the same issue that anyone has who has a, um, a public road, uh, what I was saying is from my street, I have a park right in front of my house. So anybody who wants to go to the park at any time, you know, can park. And so I can often come back and find the only place to park for me is in my driveway. Mm -hmm. 
So I think that that's a, com that's a common issue that many yeah. people have. Yeah. From, from the and, and their position is, yes, but it's all day, every day, five days in a row, the same car. And we are a residential street, after all. Mm -hmm. We're zoned residential, it's all houses down there. But it's the impact of the commercial, so that's why you're right. But I, I'm, yes. I'm totally I know, comfortable yeah, yeah. with, Sending if we move it without a recommendation, and I'm going to suggest that it doesn't wind up quickly on the agenda, because I want to let everybody yeah, know the change. Well, well, because and, people will feel if it comes to the council without them having the oh, uh, yeah, final was, opportunity to try to persuade yeah. councilors one way or the other, mm -hmm. because people feel very, very, even though they weren't at the TPC, it will be it will be hours of public comment. Yeah. And it, it was, I'm oh, sorry. No, and it was, you know, it was even unclear to me why it was there, which is why it came to say, you know, this is back what's going on, and Alex quite correctly said, well, this is, you know, when I, when, I, when I looked at all the things that were pending that were parking related, this one was hanging around still, so I sent it back to the system. Well, yeah, I mean, and even as, as chair, it, it appeared in the agenda, and I, I guess I didn't understand the history. Um, this, is gone, this is at least this is three years old. No, it's more it's than that. Five years old? Because you haven't shared transportation and parking yeah, that's right. for over four years. I don't know if it's over four years. Uh, it's, it's at least been three It was three carried years. over to two different councils. <laughs> so yeah. This is the... I mean, then one possibility is, I mean, we could, in theory, get it sent back to the Transportation Commission again. If it's been so many years, I know we want to move it forward. Mm -hmm. But if we're looking for a forum other than the full city council to have public comment, Maybe we can do that, or there's a parking No, committee. see, I think, but, but I think that those that are making comment are probably less interested in making that comment before the Transportation and Parking Commission because they know they aren't the deciders. Uh -huh. They want to try to influence the decision makers because that's what, you know, And this that's has been saying, to council you know, before. It's been to, it, right. So they want another opportunity. Yeah. Right. The, the three times I think it came before council, we sent it back to committee okay. each time, or we had some other recommendation first to try the temporary thing, then the, to try the lines on the road, and so now. Yeah. yeah. See, this thing needs its day. This thing needs okay. to get voted up. Okay. But, but I don't want it to come up until I've had a chance to write, you know, contact the medical building people and write the neighbors and say, okay, here's the present status of it, and it will be coming to council on such and such a night. Okay. So come and speak your piece and. Right. And, and see if we can come to a conclusion on it so it doesn't hang around for another two years. Right. Yeah. Okay. But presumably, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's okay. I, you know, presumably, it would be, I don't want to speak for anyone, but it would be the hospital that would have objections at this stage. Right. The, the medical fact, center. Do you know where it is? The medical center. Yeah. yeah. Right. Not the hospital. Like oh, yeah. They, if they see this pool. ordinance yeah. on the floor again, and especially if they look and they see, Anywhere that it came with a positive recommendation from the Transportation and Parking Commission, they might be panicked. Well, that's TMP was the original sponsor, actually. Right. Well, uh, uh, and and Councilor Murphy. Yeah. Was, yeah. But so what I what would be great is if we can forward it as amended at TMP to put in the business about the spaces to the corner that are no longer going to be restricted. Because the it was a, oh. it was a T and P that the spaces between the Labs driveway and Chestnut Street were taken out of the regulation. I see. I see. That's what this ordinance. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what? So we so what we could if we so we would we would amend it but then send with no, with no recommendation. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that because we can amend actually make the amendment. It doesn't have to. The amendment doesn't have to happen at the full council level. No, the amendment can we, can do it. we can do it here because so, it's recommended okay. by TMP. But you need an amendment? Yeah, because well, they changed the distance. The part that, the part that Where did they change the distance? The amendment that would be helpful, at least according to Councilor Murphy. It wasn't this far from Chestnut Street in the previous version. No, but this is the ordinance at this yeah. stage. Yes, this is the ordinance. requirement. Well, it does it be... require, but this body can. Yeah. Sure, okay. And so because we can, Councilor well, Murphy is suggesting we may want to because we can, because that makes it a simpler, I mean, because that takes, I mean, he can then give the reason. The reason I being can go to the neighbors that he and thinks say, that there is a, 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 yeah. a little bit of a compromise here in the sense that we'll have two places, two, two three, spaces, yeah. two right. or three spaces that are 
that will be where, where folks parking or whatever, <laughs> and then the rest will be turned over every two hours. Yes. Now the objections from the staff, of course, and the facility that we've heard for hours at the Moore Center hearings is that what we're doing is we're going to be uh, forcing people out onto the street who would be like walking with crutches and walkers and whatever else because they can no longer park in the parking lot because the staff have to park in the parking lot because they can't park in the street. And in reality, most of the ones that are not ambulatory get dropped off by the front door anyway. So they're not, it's not like people, you know, people on stumps are probably not just as usual. But I think what, what will, yeah, it'll, it'll come down to whether, are there, other, are there similar cases where in a residential area we, um, we limit the parking of a public road for those reasons that you gave, because somebody doesn't want people parked in front of their house. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that we have. Mm -hmm. So again, the reason I want to amend it here is so that I can write the, med the talk to the medical bill and the neighbors and say, here's how it's been changed. This is what's going to get voted on, rather than say, I think this maybe is how it's been changed, but we'll come anyway. I mean, the, neighbors, <laughs> the neighbors would be great because, I mean, they don't care about the spots on the end not because so it's not in front of their feet. For each person, it's like, I just don't want anyone in front of the house. Mm -hmm. I don't want well, people parking in front of the house. And not, not uh, once day. in a while, I mean, but all day, all day five days a week right. is a little much for them. Right. And often the same car. <laughs> all right. day. So it will be in the... Could you explain how you can go to amend this? 118 feet is a new number. The number, okay. the number was less than that. What Alex did, Alex went to the corner oh, of Chestnut Street. Very little we weren't stimulating enough, huh? If, if you want me to make some uh, particular public comment, I'll be happy to. Oh, okay. On, on order? Uh, I mean, if you, you know, felt like it was helpful, if you knew the situation, do you know this particular? Um, I, I can, well, I can just kind of picture, I think, where you are. Mm -hmm. On and, Middle Street in Florence. And do you recall this discussion historically in the last couple no, of years? No, no. Oh, okay. I live over there. Oh, all right. oh. I mean, okay. you're welcome to. We could come to a neighborhood yeah. near you soon if you want. No, <laughs> it's okay. You probably don't want to hear this, but my one parking comment has been about crosswalks and spots. Oh, yeah, you're right over. Well, God. I just, space is too close to the crosswalks so drivers can't yeah. see. Yeah. And I know getting rid of any parking spaces is... Yes, yeah, so... For a different think, that's for a different committee. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it is, and aren't you happy? This committee. I will see, we'll see you next, we'll see you in a month when we do have the public hearing. Yes. All right. Yep. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. So what what they did... Well, I, I, I yeah. think I know what they did. I think I understand what yeah. they did. But 118 feet now. is further from Chestnut Street. Yeah, than it was originally, because 118 feet is up to that first drive. So here, so our choices are procedurally presented as it was, with you explaining then the proposed amendments, right? We send it as it was, with no recommendation, and then do everything that we're going to do with it at all at the both council level. Uh, but I would prefer we amend it here, so that when I talk to everybody, I can say, this is how it will now be discussed at council which is a more definite thing, um, it, it actually probably makes it better for the medical building people, but at least I know what I'm talking to them about rather than further muddying the waters by saying, well, maybe it's here, but maybe it's here. You know, it's going to be, okay, it's here. And this is what we're talking about this time rather than having to explain, well, it could be here. So uh, what is the status right now? Presently, uh, is it unrestricted? Okay. Unrestricted. Unrestricted. Okay. With spaces. Right. Okay, so and how long has it been unrestricted at this since point? Since just before snowfall when they finally paid the spaces. So since October or so? Yeah, November, October. Okay. So for five months. Yeah. So, so, um, so it would be, when it gets to the full council level, a discussion about what's not working now with the lines parked. Mm -hmm that would require change beyond mm -hmm. what we've done, which is mark lines. Right. So we tried two hour, the neighbors liked it, the medical building did. 
We compromised some painted spaces that helped the driveway encroachment problem, the fire hydrant problem, but they still don't have spaces in front of their houses. So that's really the last thing. And the only the only change would be that the restriction starts 118 feet from Chestnut Street rather than 40 feet from Chestnut Street, freeing up a couple of spaces. And the 40 feet is uh, just a number out of the air. I don't remember right, what Right, that's right. proposed. But Alex measured it right. and changed the number. So that now we're in front of the houses, leaving free up. You, you can't go right up to Chestnut because you can only park so close to an intersection. But from that distance away from the intersection to the first driveway, there's two or three parking places that would not be restricted because they're not in front of anybody's house. And, and a reminder to it in terms of context that what is available, I mean, there, there were numerous options that are available to people in this situation. We do have an ordinance on the vote for residential parking. And residential parking is reserved for those cases when there are um, kind of deep intrusions into a residential community like a medical facility, a school. I think that's what they say specifically. So, um, you know, that that would be another mm -hmm. another option. Yeah, but they don't. They don't want that because they don't want their friends who don't happen to be residents to have to get. Yeah, the, they don't want to be. They don't mind sharing their street. They just don't want it to be assigned parking for the medical building five days a week. They want it to turn over once. Well, every two hours. Every two hours. I, I think it'll be an interesting discussion at the council level. Yeah. And it probably won't, as I said, it won't be right away because once we get it out of here, I'm going to communicate with all of them and tell them, okay, here's the current state of it, and it will be coming up at council. You know, I want to give them two weeks' notice or something when it's coming up at least so that they can come if they want to say what's going on. And I mean, it's it's time council either dealt with this or chose not to dealt with it, and it goes away. It's been around a long time. So I would say that I, I'm reserving judgment on the whole uh, ordinance until the next barrage of uh, comment from each side. But I do see the value in presenting an ordinance that at least um, doesn't completely restrict the street, but only 90%. So, is that right? Yeah. It's, 90 it's, not, it's not even 90% because the when you get far enough down Middle Street, the medical people won't walk that far. So the, pe the people at the mm -hmm. Maple Street end didn't really care because nobody goes that Well, actually, we did hear from some residents from the other end of the street who did not yeah. want to have the two-hour parking because they themselves like to park in front of yeah. their house. And, but they're all, they're all at the end of the street where we don't we don't affect that end of the street. The ordinance stops. It doesn't go all the way down the street. Right. It like does two thirds of the street. But we will probably we'll have to know that we will impact some people who are used to parking in front of their house who will no longer be able to park in front of their house. Yeah. Okay. They, they yeah. have to move their car around. They have to get out, and move it back mm -hmm. and forth, and yeah. as well. And they know who they are because it was that way for a test. Like a little ten. Yeah. Right. So they they know who they are. So the people, and some of them came because I pulled the whole street, yeah. and to a point, they were in on this, and after that point, they said, well, we don't have any trouble because they don't come this far. So this ordinance only covers that portion of the street where people said, yeah, I want into this. And now we're cutting off the other end where there are no houses. So, it's, you know, it, it has improved itself over the, yeah. the four years it's been getting kicked around, right. but it does deserve its day. And either do it or not do it. And, and I just think that, to your point, that it does deserve its day, and to Councilor Carney's point, that people want to come here to have a day. <laughs> Rather than to the council, council yeah. Because they feel like that is more important. But at the same time, will it largely be in the form of public comment? Yes. One, one way of public comment? Yes. And it's yes. just, I just the qu question then, like, is this such a local issue, uh, has such history, and is so important to those residents that another forum even though we all have plenty of meetings. It would only be valuable to the people if it were a forum attended by nine city councilors at a four council meeting in a forum where they'd be back and forth. Because if it's just, you know, they're not, they want to be able to persuade the decision makers at this point. Okay. And I think if the, if, I mean, if, if the full council were willing to attend something like that, 
Okay. Um, <coughs> you bring that up again at the concert. Just having the hospital and the residents kind of communicating to yeah. try and find a compromise. This is a compromise. Maybe it's acceptable. Not, it's not a compromise as far as the um, medical facility. But, well, yeah, because they will get three spots. They get a couple. It's just a right. small compromise. But, so, but they probably feel like, well, the residents aren't giving up anything for that. Because probably. there's nobody who, you know, you know they're not, that's, those are spaces that aren't in front of somebody's house to begin with. Yeah. Or could it be hashed out and say, well, it's, we'll, we'll do it twice 180 What I worry about is somebody who's smack in the middle of that stretch, yeah. who says, wait a minute, I like having my car parked in front of my house all day long. Yeah, oh. then they come and they say something about it. Because right. we've, we've done two major <laughs> compromises. We've done all kinds of stuff. And I agree with you. They want to come here. They, you know, they want to. They want to come here and see what happens. They don't want to back in the committee again. Okay. As, as, as you could tell, that not was, much, not I was the only one at the last but, meeting. Not, <laughs> much it, not unless it were a committee of the full council, which is forum that would allow for yeah. the back and forth yeah. that they might. Yeah. But so the, okay. I think it, it is. It's a pretty clear and succinct thing at this point. So. Yeah, and I think when this when it's clear or communicated to both parties, both, uh, uh, you know, groups, mm -hmm. that it's going to appear again on the, on the council, you will get, if now being, you'll, you'll get your bar barrage of, of emails and yeah. communications from both sides. Mm -hmm. I think they just weren't aware that it went, they yeah. must not it, been aware that it was. It's probably not. Okay. So, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to amend it and send it without recommendation? <laughs> I think that that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so that's your motion? I, I'll move to amend it as, as recommended by TPC and, and send with no recommendation to, to the full council. Second. Second. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Okay. And that's moved over. All right, the next two came back from TPC with positive recommendations, and this is the parking and meter zones on State Street. And do you want to fill us in on that? Because that was another. <clears throat> yes, this was a proposal that the uh, director of planning brought, um, and it ties into the long, longer term vision of, of reworking that intersection um, to increase traffic flow. So amend parking prohibited stairs. So I, um, I guess because I don't have the open. Oh. Uh, so to, to describe it physically, you know, yeah, you're coming, okay. you're at State Street Fruit Store, and you're, you're going, you're on State Street, and you're going towards North town. Street. You're going oh, towards south. Academy, to that. South. Is that south? Yes, it's south. Uh, to that big intersection. Um, there's parking spaces on the right side, yes. and the idea is to eliminate some, is a first step to making it easier for traffic to turn right mm -hmm. up and go up Elm Street. So, uh, this I, I, is by, by fly by night? Yeah. Because you know how the oh, cars stack. Oh, you, know how, map. you know how there's a map. You see how they... You mean talking in front of the St. Mary's... Um, no, no. Yeah. Oh, well, the parking lot of St. Mary's. So here's, here's yeah. Elm, here's State. Fly-by-night's here? Yeah, so these here, you're saying. And, and the, the cars stack way back. And oh, there's yeah, parking right, right here. And, right. So and so if, means if that some of those spaces go away, cars can get around the stacked I cars see. to make that yeah. right. Is that, 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 mm. That's correct. And you can I see, see that will make that a faster <coughs> yeah. light. Which is a, because that light right. at 5 o'clock at night long. backs yeah. up to Center Street. I mean, it goes it backs way, way up. That's it right. backs up to Finn Street. And, yeah, <laughs> Finn Street. Oh, it's it's a traffic calming measure. Not that far. Mm -hmm. right. um, and you can see the little island that they envisioned. That's oh. for the corner. Uh, a new we'll see this little, little yeah. right here? Yeah. So, so, so therefore, we're eliminating these parking see. spaces is kind of the first step to... This is going to be... Oh, that's a crosswalk. So where's the island? See that little gizmo? Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, I see. Okay. So you can, yeah, you can yeah, make yeah. a right around there, and and they want to pull a couple... Oh, I see. So there'll be a physical... Um, so that'll make there. it easier for pedestrians, but then a pedestrian... Once they get to this spot, they, got a, they still get a They got right turn people to look out for stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that uh, pretty much yep. explain it? Any other anything and on, that anything else explain? And, and, and so there's two ordinances, correct? There's one um, creating the prohibited, and then there's one for the meters. So, parking garage. So, 
So 312.102, Parker Privet at all times on State Street westerly from Elm. It's now 120 feet. Okay. Now it would be 216, and some of those spaces are. So 100 are feet that they're going to eliminate. Yeah. So that's how many spots like, there? Maybe three. Oh. Three or four. For 100, how, big 100 is, how big is the space now? Oh, it's got to be 12. It's got to be 15. Feet it's more like four. four. Okay. But these are spaces across from Fly by Night against the church parking lot. Yeah. And they would back yeah. up so that people yeah, yeah, yeah. who want to go right got more space to get around the stacked cars. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that creates that. And then the other one, which is 312109, yeah. uh, is going to do parking or on street on parking meter zones. It just changes the meter zones to start 216 feet. So if there's no parking from 216 feet over, and it starts parking regulations at 216 feet. Then I'll move those two as a group. As a group? With a positive yeah. recommendation. Second. Second. All right, any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so that one's three. And? And this uh, joint school committee. And then the joint school committee one, um, the the um, changes the conference committee. In what way? Um, I the, I can explain it. You, 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 you're your sponsor, okay. for heaven's sake. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll start by saying that Council of the Barge moved to refer this to, the, to this very committee, the Joint City Council School Conference. Oh, committee. that's right. So it's got to go there before we send it. It, yeah, it, it, it could. Has it gone there yet? It, they've not met. Um, and I'm a member of that committee. Was, oh, it, yeah. was it referred there? It was. Because we can't, saying. you can explain it to us, but we won't act on it until they do. That's right. Yeah, so, but you um, want to explain it to us anyway? Sure, happy to. Was we got time, right? Yep, we did. Okay. This will take, you know, under under an hour. Less than, <laughs> less than Mill Street? <laughs> <laughs> um, so the, his, the history here is, you know, we, we want to make this committee an active and effective when this committee met for the first and only time this year on March 11th or something, uh, we looked at the language that had to do with the election of the chair, and we were confused by one ambiguous word, um, which is in the first year, the chair shall be a member of the quote unquote board. And, um, oh, the school committee. Okay. We, we knew the word board. Prime the school board, yeah. Um, but the city solicitor agreed that it could stay in clarification, so originally the ordinance was simply going to change the report of the school committee. Yeah. Um, but I started looking at this, and it, I came to believe that some of the arbitrary restrictions, like term limits, and um, you know, under current law, a school committee member, for example, can never be chair in even numbered years. And odd numbered years, whoever was vice chair becomes chair without an election. I, I think for this committee to operate effectively, it needs leadership. And so it should be able to choose its chair with a few restrictions. However, having said that, I think you know the mission of this of this committee is, is being discussed, mm -hmm. and it may be that when the Joint City Council School Committee Conference Committee does meet, um, they may in fact recommend broader changes to the whole section that established the committee. So that's the that's the idea behind it. Okay. We will wait. We will wait until we get feedback from that body. And um, okay. Yeah, and have you already discussed with other members of that committee? Uh, Councilor Shera is a sponsor of this. But okay, but not with, the, not, but not with the school committee. Have not met. Oh. All right. So that waiting until we hear from that body on its opinion is the last thing other than uh, business that we did not expect. And do you have any? Okay. I will be adjourned. I second. All in favor? Hi. Hi. Thank you.